Hi everyone, today I thought it would be fun to do a page from the Sea of Flowers book, but we're not actually going to do the whole page. We're going to do this page, I'm just turning it around because um, it gets in the way of my um, tripod. But I love these dog roses and thought it would be fun to have a little go at them and show you how I'm going to colour them. I will only do the sort of one, um, not the whole lot, because they're going to be all pretty much the same. But uh, I thought it would be a nice opportunity to use um, some pastel colours. I might not use pastels for the whole thing, but uh, just, um, just for the... I'm going to get started with them anyway and we'll see how it goes. Now these are the cores. Colour Pastel 24 set. Um, as far as I'm aware, they are uh, quite a budget pastel set. But I've used, um, I've only used these a little bit, but I've used the M12 set a lot, and they are really lovely. Now I'm going to use two shades of pink for my flowers. So I'm going to pick my lightest shade, uh, my next lightest shade, okay. And then for my leaves, I'm going to take. I choose darker shades these two here I think. they're a little bit tricky to get out of the box so my only problem with them is they don't sit well in the in the packet I think they'll probably be better off being moved into a um, a I'm just grabbing a yellow as well or they're probably better off being moved into a pencil case of some description so I really do fight with getting them out but uh, we'll, um, I'll, I'll, I'll battle on and see how it goes. So this is a sort of mid-yellow. Some of the yellows are slightly neony, which could be okay. But um, Now you don't need this specific set of pastel pencils. You don't even need pastel pencils. It's going to be on its side, but I think that's okay. But uh, um, I'm just trying these because I think it will work. So yellow for the centre. I'm actually going to colour it all in this um, this sort of mid-yellow, pastel yellow. Now, it's going to need layering up a little bit because it is very pale. But uh, that's okay. Now, what you can do is, you can use a slightly darker one if you want to. But I'm not going to worry about these bits. I'm going to come in later with a pen and do these dots with a, with a yellow Posca. And I might just brighten this whole area up if I think it needs it. So if you're not, if you haven't got a yellow pet Posca, you could use a yellow felt tip pen. Um, but use it now, um, or a fine liner, because the Posca sits on top of pencil and it's fine, which is why I'm doing it last. But a felt tip pen won't, so you might need to do it first. Now I've got my two pinks. I'm going to use my darker pink to start with. To do the areas that I think of each petal that will be darker. Now these have no identifying numbers or names so it's just the slightly darker pink and I'm going to start on this leaf here and I'm thinking this line here I think might be slightly dipped in so it might be a little bit darker and shadowy along there and along the middle. So say I'm going to ignore those little bits and we'll do some pen at the end like that and maybe along here too look might be some sort of shadow I'm going to try and just fade that up the petal a bit um, I might go the other side of there too there's a lot of traffic around outside today seems noisy the, um, the dustmen have just come and emptied the food waste so I could do with putting the bins away really but so blowing around all over the place in the wind Okay, that's all I'm going to do there for now. I may add to that later. I'm going to take that centre as well. Now you can see there's sort of veins drawn on this leaf and these petals, sorry. I'm sort of going to ignore that, I think, for now. I might change my mind. So I'm just going to fade it up. Now, dog roses are quite a delicate pink. And this is actually much darker than they are. I really like them, to be honest. They're so pretty. I remember my neighbour um, used to have a lot in her garden. And my mum used to say, oh, they're dog roses. They're wild. They aren't garden roses. But I really love them. I really like the delicate pinky white flowers compared to the roses that we had at the time. 
don't think my mum's got roses now, which were bright reds and things like that. And they're quite brash. And I just like the delicate pink. And me not being a pinky person is quite quite an uh, old thing to say, but I just like them. And they, the flowers are a different shape and seem more delicate. And of course, I love rose hips colouring them, but they're not here. There's none in this picture, which is a shame because uh, I do like um, colouring any sort of um, berries, which essentially they are. But apparently, um, I don't know if this is true, I'm sure there are loads of gardeners out there listening, but um, they say that, uh, I'm going to swap to my lighter pink. No, they don't say that. <laughs> they say that the main and a cultivated rose is a dog rose stem with a cultivated rose planted into it somehow and therefore they can all turn back to dog roses if you don't keep them maintained I'm sure I heard that but I don't know if it makes any sense all oh, the bins are blowing I can hear them all blowing around I'm gonna have to go out when I finish this video and have a quick tidy up I think around the square put all the bins away they're all going to get broken. I don't want it to get too dark. I want it to be quite delicate, but I want to make sure that that is sort of blended around a bit. So it's rather nice using a pale colour sometimes. A bit more relaxing and delicate, gentle. It's quite interesting. I saw a friend today, and when we said goodbye, she said, Go gently. Go gently. I've never heard that before. I don't quite know what she means. I was trying to think. Did she mean just, you know, don't get stressed? I don't really. Well, that's a lie. I I don't stress. I worry. It's a different thing. So I don't get the whole adrenaline-driven, angry, stressy thing, but I just get a nagging worry. Which I think could be worse to be honest sometimes but I'm gonna try and deal with it this is a Posca yellow this is 0.7 mil PC1 and R this sort of little whoops oh can't get the lid off <laughs> pin type it's very messy the end of my pen and I'm just gonna get some dots going on here I'm not quite sure exactly where they're supposed to be so I'm just dotting around going a bit dotty really yeah, I'm trying not to worry quite so much about things, you know, worry about family, children, blah, blah, blah. I'm trying to be less of a worrier. There we go. There's the main part of the flower. I'm going to do some leaves, though. Um, I've got my darkest greens for the leaves because actually rose leaves are usually quite dark, not really a pastel shade at all. So uh, we'll um, see how we get on. I, think I quite fancy doing this one. I'm probably only going to do one. Now, roses sometimes have a sort of burgundy, reddy colour in them. And sometimes that's in the stems and the leaves. But I don't have that sort of colour, so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. Often at the tips of the leaves, I've observed they're sort of reddish. And sometimes the whole of the stem is. So, uh, but I don't think that's going to work with our pastel dog rose. So we'll see. I'm actually using this colour across the whole leaf, aren't I? I haven't um, swapped to the paler green. I'm going to layer it up a little bit more for the bottom. It's a really pretty colour. As I say, I'm sure it's not rose coloured, but uh, it's going to look pretty. Maybe that's all that matters. And you could use a non-pastel green. You know, if I was using polychromos, I would probably go for a permanent green olive or something like that. Um, I'm just looking. That's actually my lighter green that I've used. We'll carry that on. Hmm? Just neaten that up to the tip. That's the back, isn't it? And I will take the dark, slightly darker shade and pop some down here at the bottom. Just 
darken it a little bit in places. The stem, and I think the back just makes it stand out so it looks different. Okay. Now I was tempted to maybe try and mix a bit of magenta in with the green at the top to make it look slightly more reddish but I'm not sure it's going to work with this shade. I think I'm just going to go back in. This is the lighter green again and just finish it off really with these greens like that. Now we do have um, here this sort of twisty bit. I'm going to do that in the same greens okay as the leaves so it's going to be a lot of green and sort of pink and I'm going to finish with a background of blue now we have three blues in this set I'm going to use the palest if I can work out which one that is yeah the palest blue and just do a blue background as if they're against the sky I'm just going to sharpen the pencil and just show you a little bit so you can see and then you can decide whether you think that will work for you so it's quite unpale Now doing a, um, a plain background can be a little bit tricky, especially with pencil, but this particular brand, they're quite soft. And uh, I actually sometimes use this particular blue for a background even on a page that isn't um, pastel. So I think it's a rather nice sky blue colour. And because they're so soft, they can cope with a largish area and not look too streaky. Nasty. There we go. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna do it all around the row, so you can just get the idea of what it's gonna look like. Now, I probably with these, I might use a bit more of the darker green rather than the lighter one. It's quite subtle the difference, though. Now, when we finish doing each of the roses, and the leaves and background and stems we've got this sort of border left on this page I don't know if you can you can see that we've got this it's so got this loop effect which is done in black I don't think we need to worry about that but we've got this bit and so what color to do that border now I think what I will do is just checking to make sure that's going to work hmm I think yes I'm going to use this yellow all around with the Posca. It'd be really easy and quick but I think it will just draw the eye perhaps help guide us towards the centre of the roses a little bit. It's just my idea. That's what I'm going to do. So there you've got an idea of where we're sort of going with all the um, colours and things. So I hope that's okay for you. I will be finishing the page and posting a completed version of this um, on probably on um, my Facebook page maybe elsewhere as well um, I haven't got many pages of this book left this is possibly there's a lot of noisy shouting outside this is probably the last tutorial I might do from this book because I'm having a couple of weeks off with the children and I'll be doing a lot of colouring I hope I've got some work to do as well but um, and this might be one I concentrate on finishing. It's such a lovely little book. It'll be fun, but it'll also be quite quick. And I do love finishing things, so it'll give me a nice um, sense of satisfaction. Also, an easy video when I return to do a quick flip through of the book for you. So, uh, so that's me. As I say, you might want to go over those veins a little bit, maybe with your dark pink. Um, that's an idea. Or even um, something else. I'm, I, mm, probably a dark pink or maybe a grey something like that but apart from that um enjoy your um enjoy your colouring I hope that was okay I might turn them around now for you to see there we go it's the right way around I can't I can't let go of the page though or else it will the book will shut because of my tripod being in the way but there's our dog rose so thank you so much for watching um I hope that was okay. Um, hopefully that's given you a little bit of an idea of what to do with that page and you might have a go at it. Um, thank you for watching and have a lovely day and happy colouring.